before we get started with this line thing, do you have any words? We already talked about effeminate. Yeah, that E M I N A T. Okay, effeminate. That word means to feminize, uh, make more like a girl. Do any of the rest of you have any lines that you don't know, or words that you don't know on your lines, or things I can help you with? No. Pretty easy language. So what we're going to do is we're going to read the lines in order. And this all sets us up for the play, The Importance of Being Earnest, which is a farce, a comedy, and that will give us a little comic relief, I hope, while we're working on the research project. Have some I don't play accurately. Anyone can play accurately, but I play with wonderful expression. Not exactly as if you were a dentist. It's very vulgar, vulgar to talk like a dentist. When one is, isn't a dentist, it produces a false impression. Is like a delicate exotic fruit. Touch it and the bloom is gone. The whole story of modern education is radically unsound. Fortunately, in England, at any rate, education produces a effect whatsoever, a no effect whatsoever. If it did, it would prove a serious danger to the upper class and probably lead to acts of violence on girls. It is awfully hard work doing nothing. However, I don't mind hard work when there is no definite object of any kind. Thirteen? Truth is really pure and never simple. Modern life would be very tedious if it were either in modern literature a complete impossible. I should have remembered that when one is going to lead an entirely new life, one requires regular and wholesome meals. 18? Oh, I don't think I would care to catch a sensible man. I shouldn't know what to talk to him about. 19? And certainly once a man begins to neglect his domestic duties, he becomes painfully effeminate. Does he not? And I don't like that. It makes men so very society is full of women of the very highest birth who have, of their own free choice, remained 35 for years. And what makes his conduct all the more heartless is that he was perfectly well aware from the first that I have no brother, and that I never had a brother, and that I don't intend to have a brother, not even of any kind. I distinctly told him so myself yesterday afternoon. Was that 27 as well? All right, 28. It is a terrible thing for a man to find out suddenly that all his life he has been speaking nothing but the truth. Can you forgive me? 29. I now realize for the first time in my life the vital importance of being earnest. Oh, it is absurd to have a hard and fast rule about what one should and should not. More than half of modern culture is about what one should have. I'm really quite inexperienced. All right, I'm going to walk around. I need to find someone else. I'm going to walk around. 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 Oh, I bet you like that line, don't you? I now realize for the first time in my life the vital importance of being so I'm going to write back down to the kid and play my film around saying I like to be back. Okay, keep walking around saying your lines to one another. Keep walking. Let's Scott. switch cards. Am I, am I recording like everyone or just you and this? Let's switch cards. Switch with me. Okay, okay. Are you here? I have to remember that one is going to be the other. Oh, I don't think I can care to catch a sensitive man. I should not have to talk to you about what to talk to me about. Alright, wait, let's go around. I got a different one. She is pretty, and to someone else, if she is plain. I don't play acting. Any one can play acting, but I play with wonderful expression. All right, time. Stop. to take turns doing our skits and after each performance three claps even for me um, and especially for Kelsey because she actually came up with most of this um, you may use a costume if you want you've taken your lines you've organized your lines any way you want so now we're going to do our little performances and since they're my cards we, we cut ours so. 
owner's privilege. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't think one requires regular and wholesome meals. I would care to catch a sensible man when one is going to lead an entirely new life. I shouldn't know what to talk to him about. I should not remember that. Ready? Are we ready? Mm -hmm. we okay. And what makes his conduct all the more heartless is that he was perfectly well aware from the first that I have no brother, that I never had a brother, and that I don't intend to have a brother, not even of any kind. I distinctly told him so myself yesterday afternoon. It's awfully hard work doing nothing. However, I don't mind hard work when there is no definite object of any kind. <laughs> and see. <laughs> I don't make love to a woman if she is plain. <laughs> but if she is pretty, I will make love to her with wonderful expression. <laughs> see?